Maybe you haven't gotten it yet, but your 2021 tax guide for individuals just came out. And look, it's new. It's refreshed. It's under uh, the, the Biden administration, if you will. And there's an interesting uh, there's an interesting portion of it. That's right. When you're trying to decide what you need to declare, how you need to uh, you know make everything sure everything is listed. Well, there is a new section that has been added and it is under stolen property. If you steal property, you must report its fair market value in your income in the year you steal it, unless you return it to its rightful owner in the same year. Yes. Yeah, I'll repeat that for you. Stolen property. This is from the IRS. This is their actual words. You can find it on their website right now. We didn't doctor it. We didn't edit it. You know, it's in between sharing gig economy and transporting school children is... You know, the logical place <laughs> the logical to, to place this. You know, and there's, uh, you know, there's scholarships, sale of personal items, sale of home, all those normal standard ones. But then stolen property. If you steal property, you must report its fair market value in your income in the year you steal it, unless you return it to its rightful owner in the same year. So make sure whatever you stole this year, that you're going on to Google, you're looking up the fair market value of everything you stole, and make sure you report it on your income taxes this year. Let's go to John in New Mexico. John in New Mexico, six. you're on the air. I'm actually a tax lawyer. I'm normally a conservative, but I'm very liberal when it comes to giving free tax planning advice. So stealing a lawnmower or a bicycle is basically inconsequential tax-wise. My thinking is go big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're just going to like just say it's, it's just one of the line items now, stolen property, maybe you're right, John. Since this is a low-income tax year for many folks, it may be advantageous to steal something big like a motorhome before the year ends, then claim it as income this year while you're in a low tax bracket. <laughs> Enjoy it for the weekend, and I'm thinking Red River, New Mexico is beautiful this time of the year. <laughs> then we turn, we turn the motorhome the first week in January, assuming that your income will be higher in 2022. Yeah. And you're all clear. Then, there you go. <laughs> John, first of all, make sure we all know. We're being don't dep- uh, know that I'm not a tax lawyer, and don't depreciate uh, de- don't depreciate the asset very much. <laughs> okay, all right, John. <laughs> I appreciate your call. That's a great call. Obviously, a little bit of sarcasm, a little bit just to make sure no one thinks here we're advocating for you actually to steal property. But it does feel that way, and it does feel like will that the government is telling you to do it. It's interesting that we're reading this about the stolen property because the National Retail Federation. Uh, put out a study that said that about 69% of retailers have seen an increase in organized retail crimes. So these are kind of like these flash mobs that go in and and group steal so they can't be stopped as just an individual. And then they end up also in some of these locations like California, where they said we're not going to prosecute over a certain dollar amount. But we've seen this. We see it in the news. There was a big one over a holiday weekend where Nordstrom got attacked by like 80 people that went in and just stole things and left. And it was very organized. So you have to wonder, is the IRS sitting around thinking like, huh, we're missing out on some revenue here because those people need to be paying their taxes on that. But at the same turn, this is the organization within the government that the Democrats are trying to give 80 billion more dollars and 80,000 more agents through the Build Back Better bill. Fortunately, it was defeated, but Senator Schumer is saying that he's still going to bring it up the first week of January, so they're going to beef up the IRS. At the same time, we're reading uh, absurd things like how to appropriately report your illegal activity. Meanwhile, this is the same organization that this year we saw send a letter to a group saying that your Christian beliefs are associated with a certain party, therefore you're not tax exempt. It's just absurd when they're going to give more preferential treatment and explanation on how to steal better yeah. and more in line with their yeah. organizational they're not code. They're not saying don't steal. They're saying if you steal, make sure we get our cut. 